It's the time of the year when you see the Salvation Army on the streets raising money for those in need. This year, the Salvation Army here in Korea is promoting the spirit of giving in a smarter way. Lee kyung -un has this story. The red, iconic Salvation Army pod has become a symbol of the season, with many people knowing the feeling of taking money out of their pocket and dropping it in the pod on a cold winter day. But this year in central Seoul, the pods are a little bit different. The Salvation Army Korea Territory has introduced this so-called Smart Charity Pod and allows you to make a donation by just one touch of your card. Installing the Smart Pod for the first time in Seoul Plaza on Wednesday, the Salvation Army said it is adopting the charity culture to suit people's changing lifestyles. It will help reach people who are more used to cards and online payments than cash. We are first distributing 100 pots across the city this year, but plan to spread them across the whole nation by next year. The new device also takes transportation cards or online payment systems like ZeroPay or NeighborPay. It is a collaboration between the Korean Salvation Army and the local branch of German cookware company Fissler, which has been providing and repairing the pods since 2004. Lately, they've been working together to transform the traditional charity campaign into a more fun and interactive activity. And this year, their new high-tech pod not only makes the donation process convenient, but also more interesting. I've always participated in the campaign with cash, so first of all, it feels very new, and it also makes donations more fun. Also for this year, the Salvation Army has introduced the Hope Train, which will offer warm shelter for citizens while sending people the message that the spirit of giving will keep moving forward. Located in one of the busiest areas in the city, the Salvation Army's new project will give people a chance to think about their neighbors in need and what they can do to help. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.